Socioeconomic Planning Secretary Ernesto Pernia says teenage pregnancy is pulling down the Philippines' economic growth and implementation of family planning programs should intensify to bring down poverty. The Commission on Population and Development, or POPCOM, says the situation is so severe, it called on President Rodrigo Duterte to issue an executive order declaring adolescent pregnancy a national emergency. Pernia also says the Duterte administration will not pursue all of its 75 large-scale infrastructure projects, saying some are just too expensive and have too many engineering challenges to hurdle. He talks about the bridges shelved by the administration. Uh, the bridge uh, connecting uh, Matnog Sorsogon to all Allen Summer. Mm. It's not only a long bridge, but it's the, the, the waters are really very deep. It's going to be m much more expensive than we mm. thought. Also, the one that uh, is supposed to connect uh, later to Surigao. Without these bridges, driving from Luzon to Mindanao will not be possible. The Duterte administration initially proposed around 19 major bridge projects, amounting to almost 500 billion pesos. Meanwhile, Public Works Secretary Mark Filiar and China's Vice Minister of Commerce Wang Shuwen signed six deals at high level meeting in Manila. The guilty study was given to us from, uh, uh, was uh, executed by grant from China. So. Ano na siya, tapos na yung FS, so uh, very soon uh, it will be with NEDA and it's already advanced stage of planning. 